Good morning, precious. <coughs> girl good morning how you doing baby happy monday yeah hey brandon brandon's here guys brandon's here <laughs> how y'all doing for a monday you okay how was your weekend did you get through it okay you were shaking from me i know <laughs> I'm some of y'all's guilty pleasure in the morning. It's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I was struggling this morning too. It's Monday. I'm like these people. They don't. They don't listen. They don't tune in. They don't subscribe to my channel. They don't share the videos. Why bother? You know. And then that other angel on this side say, your people need you. It's parents out there that's struggling right now. They don't know what to do. They're at odds with their children. They don't get along with their baby mama or their baby daddy. They need you, Shekinia. Coffee and conversation is a must. And so I get up and I get dressed and I perform for the people. And here we are. So I had some people that was in my inbox and they wanted me to stay on the characteristics and the bad habits. And I said, you know what? I ain't got no problem with that. It's enough of them to go around. Yeah, enough of them. Yeah, I'm working from home today. I'm chilling today. Yeah, I got the boots on. I'm chilling today. Yeah. I'm trying to put the house back together from the kitchen. It's been a task, because y'all know organization is one thing I've been working on. So, it's, yeah, it's been quite difficult. But I'm doing it. I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm almost there. Did you know that if one of y'all was a hater, chances are your child might become one? But, you know, we're still talking about how opposite the moms and dads are, how your parents are, you so you know, it's less likely that y'all the same. Y'all might have the same views on some things, but hey, James, for the most part, y'all opposite in a lot. And it might not be real bad. You know, I told y'all I'm not saying this to make you feel bad about yourself. You might be hating in little ways. You know, it might not be, you, know, you might not be not such a hater to where it affects your way of thinking. Like, you might not want to work with somebody and you hate on them a little bit, but you still work with them because, you know, the benefit of working with them it's going to, you know, do whatever. So you, you know, so you say little stuff. You don't really hate hate, but <laughs> one of y'all is a hater and one of y'all not. Simple as that. Now, if both of y'all <laughs> was not haters and encouraging, it's less likely that that baby going to be one, but that hardly ever happens. So since one of y'all is a hater, and sometimes that child is around one of y'all without the other parent. They listen and they hear and they see certain things, you know, and they pick up on it. So if you out in these streets being a hater and you be talking about people behind their back and you be on the phone talking to people and then, you know, talk about them as soon as you get off the phone or, you know, stuff like that. If your baby sees that, calm down, ain't nobody in here. Chances are, they might pick up on it, and then themselves might become that. You know? Did you know if you're jealous and envious of people, it comes out in your speaking and your mannerism and what you say? Kids pick up on that too. Yeah, I'm telling y'all when they say it starts at home. It starts at home, baby. In a lot of cases, it starts at home. It starts with the relationship that you guys have. I told y'all that before. The relationship that you guys demonstrate how you are with one another. Huh? Starts with y'all. So y'all yeah, just be careful. Just 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 be careful of what you say. <laughs> and how you act in front of them babies because they always they always watching. They always watching. 
Brandy got a haircut, guys. He looks almost handsome. Yep, hold on. Y'all want to see? Brandon, say cheese. I told him you had a haircut. Yeah, you look handsome, Brandon. I'm trying to compliment you. It took everything out of me to say that. <laughs> it took all. I had to practice in the car. You know, I had to say. You got to say something nice to Brandon today. You have to do that. Yep, go and get it out the chopping block. I told y'all I got that chopping block thing done. Yeah, y'all know what was one, another thing that was important to me for my children? Because, you know, that was part of the whole video when I started it. Loyalty. It was very important. Thank you, Brandon. Have a nice day, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was important for me, for my babies, to know the meaning of loyalty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's deep. That's deep, ain't it? That's a deep one. How do you demonstrate that? Mm-hmm. Think about that. Are you a loyal person? <laughs> Ask yourself that. Are you a loyal person? Because uh, you damn well can't teach nobody or like, you don't demonstrate. No. Loyalty is something that's... Damn, I want to say bread in you. <laughs> you just got to be... <laughs> just something that you just gotta know. Let me see. How did I demonstrate that? How did I show my boys how important loyalty and my girls how important loyalty is and how to be loyal? I had a childhood friend that I grew up with that was very close, very close to me. And we grew apart as some friendships do. As we got older, you know, we had different paths. But when we were growing up, and after I lost my mom, um, my life took a different path and um, led me down some roads that were uninhibited. <laughs> I'll just say that. And she was with me through this journey. And something happened along that journey. And you can read about it in the second book, 21, when I release it. But something happened in one of those pit stops in my journey that uh if she wasn't there um me and a couple other folks probably wouldn't be here today and um i'll say her and the grace of god <laughs> is the reason why we made it her quick witted thinking as a youth <laughs> she was very smart she was very street smart street savvy she um she picked up on things. She saw things that we didn't see, the people that was with us. And um, if it wasn't for her, we probably wouldn't be here today. And if we were here today, something tragically could have happened to us if it wasn't for her quick thinking. So as a result of, my children knew this story when they got of age for me to tell it. Um, they knew of the story because it has a lot of adult content in it. So when they got of age... I had to let them know because they kind of questioned the friendship. Because whenever she would call, they would wonder why I would rush to her. Um, and they knew my feelings about her personally. Because I, do, I don't care for her at all as a person. I just don't. But loyalty to me means so much to where if she ever called me for anything, if I'm able to provide and do, I'm going to do. If she asks me to jump, I'm going to say how high. Now, some people say, you know what? <laughs> if she doesn't feel the same way about you, you shouldn't carry on like that in that manner. You shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that. Forget them as if loyalty expires. <laughs> Not with me. Loyalty is a part of you. <laughs> so if you're a loyal person, that ain't something that you just shut off. So, for me, to demonstrate that to my kids, I allow them to see me respond in a manner that when she calls, I come. Because I will forever be loyal to her, even if she not to me. She wasn't there for me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? She, I, I probably wasn't there for her in a, in a, in a way like that to where... It, it provided or, or needed to be 
uh, loyalty, I guess. I don't know. Needed to be questioned or put in play. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is, if it wasn't for her, that night, ain't no telling where me and a couple other folks would be today. So, therefore, I will forever be loyal. So, that is one way that I tried to demonstrate that to my children. Because that's very important to me, for them, to know loyalty. Yeah. Amongst other things. But, yeah, guys, I'm going to cut it short because it's been a long video for a Monday. I don't want to wear you out. <laughs> so, I want you to have a, a wonderful day. What up, Gino? Fam in the house. Let me shoot y'all some waves. Yeah. For the couple people that tuned in, thank you for joining me on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shakenya. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, Shakenya, and hit subscribe. And if you hear a video, see a video that you like, please share it. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to become famous. And I'm out. Mwah.